Lagos is undoubtedly Africa's busiest city. With a population estimated at more than 20 million people, Lagos is the most populous city on the continent. And like most metropolitan cities in developing countries, Lagos has a major challenge with traffic congestion. Getting around the city can be a nightmare for people living and working here. The city's current infrastructure is overburdened, and there is a need for significant investment to resolve the problem. For several years, there has been talk of the Lagos 4th Mainland Bridge, which aims to ease the city's notorious traffic. The proposed 4th Mainland Bridge measures 38 kilometers in length, making it the longest bridge in Africa. The bridge would create a bypass for commuters traveling from the mainland to the island, thus improving traffic flow. This would reduce the number of vehicles using the Eko and Kata bridges, which currently link the mainland to the island, leading to significant time savings for commuters. Yeah, it, it journey would take uh, normally like 30 minutes, you now end up taking like six hours. Yes, some are going to the left, some are going to the right. It's usually hell of traffic. The bridge could also lead to an increase in business opportunities and urban development around the areas where the bridge is located, boosting the city's economic growth. The fourth mainland bridge would also create new transport routes, making it easier to get to previously hard to reach destinations. This may help increase mobility, access to education and work opportunities. While the proposed fourth mainland bridge project is massive and necessary, it could also generate negative impacts. There is a concern about the possible displacement of residents and communities where the bridge is expected to be constructed. While there may be some temporary inconvenience during construction, Lagos residents stand to gain the most from the proposed fourth mainland bridge. The construction of the bridge could also considerably affect the real estate markets, particularly in the Aja area. At the moment, Aja is one of the fastest growing areas in Lagos and the real estate market has been on an upward trajectory for several years. Aja has also become popular among middle class earners looking to buy property. The area is relatively affordable compared to the neighboring Lekki district and real estate developers have responded to the growing demand by building affordable housing estates in Aja. However, the proposed fourth mainland bridge could have a significant impact on Aja real estate prices. The promise is to make Aja more accessible, driving up commercial activities so much so that some experts predict that Aja could become another business district similar to Victoria Island. One potential effect could be the opening up of more affordable housing options for Lagos residents. The bridge is expected to drive real estate development in the area and attract investors which could lead to a boom in affordable housing. However, some experts predict that the new bridge could also drive up property prices in the area, with improved access to and from the mainland, as well as locations like the Lekki Free Trade Zone, the Dangote Refinery and other facilities, Aja could become more attractive to investors, driving up demand for real estate and pushing prices higher. This could lead to speculation on artificial price increases. Only time will tell how the proposed bridge will impact the real estate market in Ajar, but it is clear that this infrastructure project could be a game changer not only for real estate but also for Lagos as a whole.